हाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रशांत टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ थर्ड चैप्टर पार्ट बी दैट इज मशीन पार्ट बी इन विच वी आर स्टडिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पुली पुली सिस्टम एंड ब्लॉक एंड टैकल सिस्टम ऑफ पुली नाउ चेक विल स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट इट इज पार्ट बी दिस पार्ट बी इन विच वी आर स्टडिंग फर्स्ट इज अ सिंगल फिक्स्ड पुली Now, in single fixed pulley, what is there? Check. This is your rigid support, right? This is rigid support to which I am attaching this frame. This is the pulley with a double grooves in it. This is center. This is a hook. Now, I am attaching load over here with the help of the string. This is the load L acting downward. This is the tension T. Here will be the effort P. Here also tension is what T. Now since your load is equal to T, effort is equal to T. Therefore, mechanical advantage is load upon effort, which is T upon T, which is equal to one. Right? This is one part. Now, what is velocity ratio? Velocity ratio is nothing but displacement of effort upon displacement of load. Now suppose my displacement, this I am pulling from here to here. So this is displacement of effort, which is equal to say d. So here this load is also lifted by the same amount d l is equal to what d. So right here it is d upon d, which is equal to one, right? So here efficiency is equal to what m a upon v r. This is ideal case. This is one upon one, which is one, or we can write it is hundred percent. This is about single fixed pulley. Now this kind of pulley is used to change the direction of effort. This pulley is not doing any kind of force multiplier. It will not act as a force multiplier. It is just used to change the direction of effort. जो velcro pulley होता है, that pulley is used as a single fixed pulley, which is used to lift that load, that is water. Now. Second pulley is a single movable pulley. Single movable pulley. Now what is single movable pulley? In which this is the rigid support, right? Now this is a hook attached. This is a string. This is a double grooves. This is center. Here I am attaching one load L downward. The terminal will be like this. So this is your effort. Tension is T. Here also tension is T. Right? Now check this part. Now your load is supported by these two T's. So that is T plus T. That comes out to be two T. Your effort is already equal to T. Effort is equal to T. So can I write here mechanical advantage is equal to what? It is load upon effort, which is equal to two T upon T, which is equal to two. Now, since your M A is greater than one, therefore it is always force multiplier. This kind of machine is called as what force multiplier. Now, take the example where I am using as a force multiplier. Suppose my load is say hundred newton, right? So here that hundred is divided into two equal parts. So this is fifty newton. Which is only two rigid support, and here I am applying only fifty newton. Now, if I use one single movable pulley, then your load get reduced by half. If I use two, out of that half, but the, in every step, so whatever load it is get divided into half half part. This is what is the function of the single movable pulley. So this is force multiplier. Now similarly, V R also equal to what? Uh, it is two. Now efficiency is again equal to what? M A. Upon what we are, which is two upon two, which is equal to one or hundred percent. This is all our ideal cases. Practically, this is not possible. Now the next part will be what? That is third part. Is single movable pin pulley with the fixed pulley. So I will do that that part. I'm just removing this part. This is next will be single movable pulley with the fixed pulley. Check. I'm here with fixed pulley, right? Third part. Now in that, 
this is a string over here it will attach like this it will go like this here is a single fixed pulley attached with this groove hook then this is that effort here is the effort tension is t here is also tension t now over here what is the function of this pulley it is just the reverse the direction of effort so ma vr value remains same as single movable pulley but this function of this pulley this second pulley it is just to change the direction of effort now we'll go with the next part that is distinguish between single fixed single movable that you can refer from textbook is very straight forward questions but if they are this question in words so first point will be the definition of each pulley single fixed and single pulley don't write the points which are very small because you will not score good marks with that help can we proceed next next is you have system of pulley it is system of pulley now in that system of pulley you have one fixed and other movable one fixed and other movable now check this one what is this one fixed and other movable for this you take a this is the rigid support to that rigid support this is the hook attached this is one single movable pulley here is the load attached to it that load is acting downward this is load downward this is attached over here with the help of the second pulley so this is second hook is attached over here right then third pulley this is the third pulley your hook is attached right here is the next part okay now here is a fixed or uh, single fixed pulley with the hook attached it like this now this is important part this is over your tension t there is a tension t1 here it is t2 here is also t2 this is your t3 this is your t3 and your effort is what t3 and effort is in what downward direction now over here in calculation only these three pulleys are considered not this one so what is the function of this pulley just to reverse the direction of effort that is the function of direct to reverse the direction of effort now if i do the calculation part which is not there in scope but still i will do now your load is equal to t1 plus t1 so i will write this is 2t1 so i can write t1 is equal to load upon 2 right this is first part now can i write your this t1 is equal to t2 plus t2 which is 2t2 so i can write t2 is equal to t1 upon 2 but what is your t1 it is l upon 2 upon 2 so this is l upon 4 this is what l upon 4 again you have since t2 is equal to what t3 plus t3 which is 2 times t3 so t3 is equal to t2 upon 2 what is t2 this is l by 4 upon 2 which is l by 8 this is what l by 8 now since your mechanical advantage is what load upon effort so load is as it is effort is your t3 which is l by 8 i will take this is 8 8 can be written as 2 raised to 3 so here what is the conclusion now this part is not there in your scope but what is the conclusion so we can write mechanical advantage is equal to 2 raised to n so what is n it is number of movable pulley this is what number of movable pulley now we'll go with the, this is very important this is the last numerical of 3b last numerical of 3 this is a very important part now last part will go with the block and tackle system that is very important block and tackle system will be something important which is frequently asked in boards 
frequently asked in many school exams also school prelim also they can ask this kind of question now check what is block and tangle system now this is block and tackle with system with vr is equal to 4 velocity ratio equal to 4 now check this is your rigid support over your rigid support i will mark this is a rigid support right this is one block we we'll draw properly this is one block this is attached with hook this is one pulley bigger in size with the double grooves this is a pulley smaller in size and as compared to this right here second part this is hook attached right this is called as upper block this is called as what upper block which is fixed with the rigid support this is called upper block which is fixed now here is the second block here is the second block right with the hook this is one pulley right this is the second pulley over here and here is a hook attached with the load connected in this is down now i want a string this is called as lower block this is what lower block which is movable this is not fixed which is movable now over here i will start with the strings it will go like this it is going like this this way right this is your effort engine is t this is t here is t here is t and here is t so all tensions will be in upward direction except this effort is in downward direction load is in downward so this is what is a your block and tackle this is only for drawing you have numericals based on this also for numerical basis what is velocity ratio it is equal to this is applicable when effort is in effort is in downward direction how it is downward direction right so what is vr is equal to total number of pulleys in both the blocks this is nothing but what total number of pulley in both the blocks this is what about velocity ratio now what is mechanical advantage in textbook this statement is given ulta you have to refer this only not textbook now ma is equal to number of strands of tackle supporting load what is ma it is the total number of strand of tackle supporting load now what is number of strands except this wala last effort wala strand you have to count so here i will start with 1 2 3 and 4 except this you have to count all the strings so that comes out to be what 4 now since this is an ideal case your ma and vr will be same now it is not necessary when you go with numericals your efficiency will be given so at that time this part is very very important so vr is total number of pulleys in both the blocks ma is number of strands of tackle supporting load in textbook this is given as reverse so if we consider efficiency is 1 or 100 percent this both values will match but in actual practice this value will affect right this is about vr equal to 4 now we'll go with one more part that is vr is equal to 5 check this part this is again important over here vr is equal to 5 now in vr equal to 5 this is your rigid support right write your rigid support this is one block 
this is hook this block contains more number of pulleys lesser smaller in size still small right this is one hook there is one more over your second block bigger in size here is a hook attached this is the load acting down now i will start from here this is the starting point it will go like this it will go like this this way now this is your effort this is tension t here also tension t tension t t over your t over your t now when you draw this diagram just take care the total number of pulleys in upper block is either equal or more you can't write this old doc the number of pulleys in lower block will be 3 and upper block is 2 that is not applicable why because this is what is a fixed pulley this is fixed but this part is movable so if you increase the number of pulleys in lower block so that part will get added into what load that means your efficiency will decrease so avoid that part now here what is vr it is equal to total number of pulleys in both the blocks that comes out to be 5 What is MA? It is the number of strands of tackle supporting load. So except this, one, two, three, four, five. That is five. Right now, this is only when effort is in downward direction. Now, what happen if we consider effort is in upward direction? Then your MA and VR will be plus one. Whatever number of pulleys plus one. Whatever number of strand plus one. That you have to consider that part. that is the last solved numerical of 3b that is the example here now that's it for this video we'll do the next video about the numericals of this chapter thank you